Welcome to part 7 of Fantasy Star 4. In today's episode, we're going to storm Zeo's fort and rescue Demi. Not more or Lovato. This Demi is a robot and she is way older than any of the party members in this room. It's an invisible barrier. We can't go forward. It's not really invisible. I can see it clearly. Or well, maybe he can't. I don't know. But here at Zeo's Fortress, there are plenty of side rooms that lead to some pretty good secrets. Some of them require you to drop from the second story onto the ground floor. Good thing there's no fall damage. Or a loud and very abrasive sound cue that plays every time you fall through a floor. Looking at you, Fantasy Star 2, honestly that's way worse than any fall damage. Just that sound cue alone is just ear piercing. Rippers. These enemies can be aggressive, but if you know about their natural weakness for ice, they go down very quickly. Let me use the second level rest spell, J Gyres or Gyres. I've always pronounced it Gyres, kind of like the Konami game. But I know it's probably Gyres, I don't know. There are always some funky sounding spell names for these games. Anyway, let's see what's in this treasure chest. 2000 Meseta. More money, more problems. No, oh, this is one of them. Oh, it's the Rippers again. Well, at least they didn't get a chance to strike first this time. These guys have two different types of attacks. They got their arm blades, which will swing at you more than likely, but they can also shoot fire from their arms, which is also their mouth. I'm telling you, these designs are straight up Lovecraftian. Or Geiger. I think closer to HR Geiger than HP Lovecraft, but still, it's out there. Way out there design and I love it. Crossing this bridge will bring you to a good item. You don't want to pass this up. Laser Sword! Now Chaz Ashley is officially a Jedi. Or he has the Ring of the Schwartz. Anyway, the Laser Sword will give a damage boost to Chaz's attacks, especially against robot type enemies. The Shadow Sabers, despite their looks, are not robots. They have a couple of attacks to watch out for. The Shadow Sabers will occasionally do Air Slash, which will damage all of your party members in one fell swoop. Yeah, I see like that. An eye for an eye! The other attack, or skill, is Debon. They raise their defensive powers. The Shadow Sabers are somewhat dangerous, but they're still weak to magic whenever they raise their shields. And also Chaz and Gris's attacks can ignore the Deban spell because they're that powerful. Well, Chaz missed there, but... Yeah, 29. That's not bad. And they also have the occasion to drop the Shadow Blade, which is... Okay. It insta-kills enemies, but that's about it. It's weaker than the Laser Sword, so I'm not gonna give it to Chaz. What I am gonna do is heal everybody, because this place is downright deadly if you're not careful. That is still such a satisfying sound to hear. <laughs> Anyway, we're going back across the bridge, and we're going back downstairs, but what you're going to do is fall into that black hole. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, a treasure chest. Moondew. What Moondews do, does, is uh, they revive people from the dead. So whenever a character reaches zero on their health bars, you could just bring them back with the good old Moondew. It's supposed to be some sort of perfume, but I don't... Why is it a perfume? when it revives people from the dead. I don't know how it works in the Fantasy Star universe, it, it just does things. A lot of the sci-fi element and the out there nature of the series was changed around for the first game's American version. Like, you know, I mentioned in part 5 that the burger and cola... <laughs> yeah, they weren't burger and cola in the Japanese version of Fantasy Star 1, they were something completely different. And by the time of Fantasy Star 2, the series was going cyberpunk at that point, so the localizers were like, uh, oh, let's just keep the name sci-fi because Burger and Cola sounds lame as hell. <laughs> so that's what they did. Which is good because it gives the series its own distinctive flair, but then again, Fantasy Star 1, or at least the American version of Fantasy Star 1, seems to be on its own because it doesn't have as many sci-fi elements as the later three games did. But then again, I digress. It's the first game in the series. They didn't know whether to go with the sci-fi route or the high fantasy route. It's the fantasy star with a PH. It's a hybrid of both. Yeah! Love this game. 
Anyway, we're entering the foyer area again because whenever you fall through those black holes on the second floor, you can't get back up, so you have to exit and re-enter the facility. I would say that's annoying, but it is a cost for a treasure chest, which I think pays off. Anyway, these rippers, the ripper enemies are freaking tough. Wait a minute, never mind, I already talked about these guys. They are weak to ice though, so bye! Han learned Rimmit, which I forgot what it does exactly. <laughs> I think it cures drowsiness. There is a sleep status ailment, which only certain enemies in the game do. It's not really that big a deal like paralysis or even poison. Another battle. More Shadow Sabers? Man, can't you guys learn your lessons? We're the good guys and we're supposed to beat you up. That's probably not a good reason, but it's a good enough reason to play this game. Actually, a show of hands in the comment section. Have you played this game before? And if so, was it on a real Sega Genesis? Good luck, because this game was fucking expensive back in the day. Or was it through many of the Sega collections? For me, I started playing this game around 2010, or 2009 even. Oh! Elise has gotten the death spell. What that move entails is Elise uses her boomerangs to instantly kill a creature. But anyway, back to what I was talking about before. Uh, I got this game in the Sonic Ultimate Genesis Collection in 2009, or 10-ish, and I instantly got hooked. I kept playing it year after year. Like, you know, played it once every year because I just love the game so much. And eventually, I got an actual copy on the Sega Genesis itself. For cheap, of course. I think I got a used copy for $30? Which is definitely better than like $80 or $100 that's going for now. Hell, even back in 1995 when this game was first released, it was almost $100. I think that has something to do with the extra chips in the cartridge. Apparently, um, to make this game look as advanced as it does right now, they had to put a whole bunch of extra chips in the game. This is, without a doubt, one of the prettiest looking games on the system. And it doesn't even have to be a moving image. There's just a sheer amount of quality put into the backgrounds and the character designs. Well, 50% of the time, the character designs. And it's just, it all comes out looking so good. I think it's the art style. The Fantasy Star games, well, from 1 through 4 at least, had this anime look that is way ahead of its time. Not that you would know that by looking at the American box arts! <laughs> And hell, even the Japanese box arts are kind of lacking for the characters in game. <laughs> it's just, everything looks wrong here. Why does Rika have a large ass claw when there's nothing like that in the game proper? It just makes no sense. Anyway, Grizz learned the War Cry ability, and it's real useful against bosses, as it raises his stats tenfold. Oh wow, Rika's triple digit health. She's already stronger than Chaz. <laughs> You're gonna realize that Rika's probably gonna be the strongest character in the game. Or it's gonna be this weird tug of war fluctuation of Rika's gonna be the strongest character in the game, then Chaz is gonna power up slightly and now he's the strongest character in the game, and now Rika's gonna be the strongest character in the game again when she levels up. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, what is going on here? For story purposes, yes, Rika was bred for combat, and so she technically is better than Chaz. But also, Chaz has been doing this for a long time. And also, they probably love each other, that's why the stats are so close together like that. Despite some of the clunky dialogue, which reminds me of a Star Wars prequel film, <laughs> this game really is smartly built. Like, it has a genius story. Even if it's simple, it's still pretty brilliant. And this probably may not be for everyone, um, actually it kind of is, it is pretty user friendly, even if it is challenging at points, it is still probably the best Fantasy Star game to get into first, because the other games are just bullshit hard. And the third game was just odd, so start out with this game, it's fun. Ooh, a surprise attack! Try blaster, bitch! Don't worry, that move will get outdated soon. And I'm gonna have to look for new magic combinations to mix and match with. This game does not tell you who does what with the combinations. You have to figure that shit out on your own. And even I, a person who's played this game for 12 to 13 years now, still don't know all of the combinations in this game, so still learning stuff. 
Rika's got a laser claw. Now she can slash through robots with ease. I was listening to that. Oh great, it's Shadow Dancer and Jack the Ripper again. What you want to do for this formation is go after the Shadow Saber first because he can cast a ban and raise their stats up. And then go after the Ripper second because he's just standing there. Oh, I didn't kill him fast enough. Yeah, your shield did not save you, asshole. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Ripper's down, everything's down. Okay, what you want to do is keep going north and... Oh, a mysterious guy right in front of us. Might want to heal because... Oh no, he looks kind of shifty. Is everybody healed up? No, Rika's still damaged. Alright, let's go for it. Oh my god! Woo! I hate this. <laughs> and everybody's damaged again. That tends to happen. The RNG is just not on my side for this playthrough. In general. You are... I am Juza. You will never get near Zio. Unless you defeat me. Will do, let's kill this guy. Okay, so Juza is really, really tough. He's got a couple of different attacks to watch out for. Mainly his Force Flash ability. No, this is not a Star Wars game. <laughs> but his um, Force Flash ability is uh, very powerful. Okay, he did Zan there, which doesn't do that much damage, but it's still powerful. That was the war cry in action. Now Grizz can do slightly more damage. And trust me, slightly more damage is better than normal damage. Just as long as you keep up with the character statuses with Elise and Rika and Han as they're the main supportive party members, you should be okay. Have Grizz, Chaz, and Rika when she's done with the supportive magic to attack. And I'm gonna relegate Han to heal duty for most of this battle because he can't really do much to Juza. Jesus, that was crunchy. And that boy did absolutely jack shit to Chaz. <laughs> you, um, Elise can do shift, Chaz crosscut, Rika double slash. You mainly want Rika and Chaz to do double slash and crosscut respectively, because that does the most damage. With Chaz's crosscut, it's two swings in one turn, and with Rika, it's four swipes with her claws in one turn. Very powerful stuff. Rika and Chaz. Ouch! Man, yeah, that's Force Flash in action. It hurts like hell. But Rika and Chaz are going to be the main damage dealers of the group. I cannot find this guy's HP anywhere on the internet. <laughs> I assume it's in the thousands, but I don't know. Let's just keep hitting him until he dies. And keep healing before we die. Alright, Grizz is now doubly powerful. Or not. Did his stats go down? Oh, I probably shouldn't have had Elise use Shift on Grizz since he already used Warcry. Oh well, at least you can you can hit things really hard too. Use Vortex. Enrica, you can use Gyrus. Let's see, you use Gyrus too. Let's see how this goes. Vortex, a uh, decent amount of damage. Uh, oh god, Elise, no! Damn it! Okay, not to worry, not to worry. If I use the Moon Dew fast enough, I should be able to resurrect Elise. And I need to resurrect Elise now if I want her to get experience points because I think Juza is on his last turn. Or at least very close to his last turn, I don't know. Uh, okay, no, maybe he's still got a bit more health. Okay, somebody has to go to items. Man, watching past me is kind of irritating to me. <laughs> okay, there we go. Have Rika use the Moon Dew since she's the fastest character ever, and have Han use Res. Yay, we did it! Chas leveled up and he learnt Rempa, which cures paralysis. Kind of useless, actually. There's not too much of this castle left. All we have to do is go upstairs and... Oh my. What's that? Somebody's been captured. It's Demi! We've got a rescuer. 
Who, who are you? Elise Brangwen and company. Thank you very much. You are all injured, are you not? Allow me. It's the least I can do to show my gratitude. Huh? I feel a strength welling inside me. It's my medical power. My name is Demi. I am in charge of controlling Nervous. Ooh, I heard she was supposed to be an android, but this is beyond my expectations. She's no different than a human being. Be that as it may. Demi, can you stop the transmission of energy to the system that's malfunctioning? You're the only one that can do it, right? Yes, I too have tried to freeze the entire system, but go no further. Who's that? That voice. It's Zio. What is this? I feel... this incredible menace. Zio. You son of a... Watch your tongue, son. So you thought you would sneak in while the owner's away, huh? You little sneak thief. Take a look at your own evil self before you dare put us down. Yeah, you tell him, Chaz. Think about all of you've done. Hmm. So I've wrought damage to Motavia. What's wrong with eliminating worms? Worms? You dare call us worms? You... You... I cannot forgive you. <laughs> now that's the expression I want to see. A face filled with pain and anguish, begging fearfully for help. A face quivering with anger. Go on. Get angry. Suffer. Be sad. That would truly be the ultimate offering to me and my great god. Your god? Son of a... Blast! Come on, everybody, let's go! Wait, Chas. Zio, do you understand what's going on? If we don't stop the systems that are running out of control, Motavia itself is going to become uninhabitable. You must let Demi... Total annihilation of life. What a fine thing. Death to all that lives. Destruction to all that has formed. That is indeed my desire. That's crazy! My god will not tolerate any life forms and alcohol. Everything must be wiped out. And I, with these very hands, will do just that. That means you yourself will be gone too! If my god wishes that to be so, then it is also my wish. You, you're out of your mind! Oh, that's not a good sign. Fun and games are over with. Anyone who dares get in my way shall perish. My humble self, who has taken it upon myself to do the wish of my god, shall destroy thee. Oh, the greatest, my one and only ultimate god, Dark Force. Dark Force? That's a familiar name right there. So this guy needs to fucking die right now, so what we're gonna do is go on the offensive. With some characters blocking, because, I don't know, anything could happen, and I'm whiffing all my attacks, what's going on? That's not supposed to happen. This isn't Fantasy Star 2. Why am I missing all my attacks all of a sudden? And why is he just standing there? That's right. This is a scripted battle. You're not supposed to win this. Zio is prepping for something big to happen. Only question is, what is that big thing that's going to happen? I can't seem to hit him for shit. All we can do here is nothing because Chas bites it. It's what you would think, but actually Elise pushes Chas out of the way and she bites it. Ooh. This is not how I thought things would go. We need to retreat. I think you're right. We've lost. Blast it! Chaz, it's no good. Even Jairus won't repair Elise's wounds. No, Elise! We better return to my village, Chaz. Elise! I have no idea what these symptoms are. It appears she isn't getting any better. That's Yo. There was something different about him from all other enemies I fought. She refuses everything. It's as if she's possessed by some evil power. Damn you, Zio! You devil! Can we save her if we shut down Nervous? That's wishful thinking. No, that won't work. Nervous is located in the basement of Zio's fort. Actually, Zio has erected his fort on top of Nervous. Oh, below that invisible barrier! So we'll have to defeat Zio after all. If, if only Rune were... Elise, don't talk. Rune should know some way to do it. Elise, don't worry. We'll defeat Zio somehow. Now listen. With what we have right now, there's no way we can win. 
We've got to do something about Zeo's magic barrier. Magic barrier? Magic? That sort of thing should have ceased to exist a thousand years ago. Come to think of it, Room was indeed using some kind of magic. Something called Phileli. That's right. So, if you can get the cooperation of Rune... He's, he's not gonna say no. I mean, it's for you, Elise. He's not gonna say no. Chaz, who is Rune? Oh, he's a disgusting, conceited jerk. I hate to admit it, but we may have no choice but to ask for his help. Didn't Rune go off somewhere with Grandfather Duran? If he's with Grandfather Duran, perhaps he's gone to the Ladia Tower. Because he said he was saying something about opening the gates to the Ladia Tower. What's the Lydia Tower? I'm not quite sure myself, but I hear it's located on a small island beyond the quicksand to the east. Grandfather Duran said that something important is there. How are we going to get across the quicksand? How did Rune and Grandfather Duran do it? That's beyond me. Probably that's where magic comes into play. Don't worry. Leave it to me. There's the Land Rover. The Land Rover? What's that? Do you mean to say there's still a Land Rover in existence? Yes, absolutely. The Land Rover is an all-purpose armor-plated car of an ancient civilization. With a Land Rover, crossing quicksand is nothing. If we go to the Machine Center directly south of here, I'm sure we'll find one. A Machine Center? Is there such a place? If you come with me, you'll see. Okay, in that case, let's hurry and get going. Will you stay here, Han? What? Uh, but... We want you to remain here and look after Elise. Also, you have a cute girlfriend here. Uh, but... Elise, I'm sure we'll find Rune. Chaz... Han, take good care of Elise. Well, things are definitely taking a turn for the sadder. Stay tuned for part 8. Hang in there, Elise. Hang in there. <laughs>